Hello, my loves, and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah, and I am your host today. And today, I would love to take the time to tell you guys about attracting in your ideal clients. So here's the thing. Obviously, we need to do the physical work, but we also want to work on the energetic level. And to do both of those things, we need to know who our ideal client is. So whatever your business is, Who is your business targeted at? Now, what I would do, and sometimes this is called an avatar, you know, you'll hear some people talk about it as know what your, you know, your avatar. Um, But I like to just use know who your ideal client is. So what I would do if I was you guys, you can use a computer for this, but I'm so like, I'm old school. I like a pen and paper and I will literally write the words ideal client on the paper in the middle of the page and then just draw little lines off that page, literally just sit there, draw lines and just start listing all the things you know about your ideal client. What age are they? Are they married? Are they single? What income level do they have? Where do they live? You know, which country are they in? If you're going with a global business, you know, because your product if you don't know who your ideal client is, how can you target them? You know, if you're just targeting to everyone, say you're product is women's shoes, right? And if you're targeting that product to everyone, your content is going to look very different if you're targeting it to specific women. Knowing who your ideal client is will help you with your messaging and marketing because even the difference between marketing 19-year-old women is so different to knowing how to market to 40-year-old women. They'll be they'll be in different price points. They'll they'll have different levels of disposable income, you know. They're going to be looking at different things. So knowing who your ideal client is for your business is vitally important. Now, I would also take this down to another step of if you're an online entrepreneur and you have different price points for products, I would even know who your ideal client is at each price point. So if you're selling something at a $20,000 price point, what is that ideal client, you know, Um, as opposed to if you're selling something, also you've got a $10 price point, what's that ideal client look like, you know, getting really clear and knowing what the ideal client is for your business and even your products is going to be helpful. So going back to that piece of paper, we're going to write down the age of this ideal client. We're going to be writing down things like how they spend their time, what their income is, what they do for fun. You know, as mentioned, are they married? Do they have children? You know, do they travel? What are their hobbies? You know, understanding all of these things is going to help you because if you want to target to 19 year olds, but your product is $40,000, 19 year olds aren't necessarily going to be the best fit for that product. Some of them will be, but maybe you need to be more marketing at the people who actually have the income and the disposable income and resources to buy that product. So on the physical level, we want to get really, really, really clear on who that client is, you know, and knowing you know, make it fun as well. Like, yes, you want to target your business to an ideal client, but if you're wanting to deal with these ideal clients yourself, so say we're talking about one-on-ones, you also want your ideal client to be someone you actually want to work with. So make sure that when you are designing your ideal client, if it is for a one-on-one style business, you're designing someone you actually want to work with. And I think that's super important and people don't necessarily mention that all the time. So I I just want to throw that in as well, because if you are selling one-on-one services, you want to be attracting in the people you actually want to work with. Okay. So that's vitally important as well. You know, you don't want to be attracting in people who can afford your product, but that you don't actually want to work with, you know? Uh, So get very clear on what it is you want to attract. Now, when it does come to doing the energetic work, if you're throwing your net wide and you don't really know what you're trying to attract, the universe is just going to send that right back to you. They're just going to throw a wide net at you and you're going to be like, I don't want to work with that person. I don't want to work with that person. I don't want to work with that person. You know, so getting really clear is so useful on an energetic level because it will help the universe to know what to bring you more of and it helps you to know what to say no to, for example. So a lot of people, 
ask me to do social media for them because it's something that I consult on. It's something I know a lot about. Uh, it's something I've worked in for years. I've done it a lot for other people, but I don't enjoy that. And I've gotten to a point now where I just say no, because it's, it's yes, it's income, but it's not the income I want. It's not what I want to be telling the universe. I don't want to be telling the universe that I, I want to work in social media management because I really don't, you know, I never have. The only reason I started consulting in social media was because I knew so much more than a lot of other people. And people would literally be like, can you help me with this? You know, and it was something that I ended up in that I didn't necessarily love, you know. And you guys have seen, I don't even have very active socials, you know, I, I don't even do it. All of my clients come by referral in the past. I, I am obviously branching out now and creating a more visual brand that people can actually find me on and know me, but all of my work previously has been by referral. So it's one of those things where energetically getting clear on who your ideal client is, it also helps you where to say no, you know what I mean? It helps you to know what is in alignment and what isn't in alignment for you, you know? And I know for me that I want to work with online business owners. So if business owners come to me that have physical stores, I turn them away generally, you know, when it comes to consulting, you know, I would turn them away because I, I don't want to work in that. I don't know enough about it. Yes, I've had my own physical store and I loved it. It was great, but it's not my area of expertise anymore. That was years ago. You know, my area of expertise now is online businesses and energy and creation and vibration. They're my areas of online expertise. Knowing how to remove the blockages that you have in you to create a life you love, that's my area of expertise, you know. Knowing how to shift vibration, knowing how to go from you know, nowhere to having a business and the energetic work that it takes to do that. That's the stuff that I'm good at. So for me to accept clients that aren't wanting that service, it's out of alignment and the universe will just send me what I accept. You know, if I'm prepared to accept everyone, the universe will send me everyone. So by getting really clear on your ideal client, it really helps you to energetically align with those people and create content for those people, create programs for those people. Um, and it just, everything just works harmoniously because everything is in alignment. The people you want to work with is in alignment. The social media you do for those people is in alignment. The marketing you do is at those, is for those people. You know what I mean? You're trying to help those people knowing who you want to help, knowing who your ideal client is knowing where they hang out, knowing what conversations they're having, all of that sort of stuff, knowing that helps so much on an energetic level that it it just makes it so much easier for you to be so targeted in knowing what you're doing and who you're working with. And there are 8 billion people on this planet. There are people who need your services, okay? You know, like you think if I niche down too much and if I say no to too many things, there won't be any other people. There is people. There is 8 billion people, you know, we don't need as many, as many people as we think we need, you know, to create the life we love, you know? So getting really clear on who you want to work with and, and what that person is like, knowing who they are is just going to help physically in the physical world of knowing what to do to attract that client, but also energetically to help you align with that client. And that's what we want to do. We want to have that harmony between physical of what we're doing and the energetic of what we're doing so that we can draw those people in and align with those people and create a business that we really love because the people we're aligning with are the right people. So on the energetic level, guys, what I want you to do is once you know who that ideal client is, I want you to start energetically attracting that client. So to do that, I want you to start visualizing working with that client. I want you to visualize their results. I want you to visualize the feelings that you have when you work with your dream ideal clients. I want you to really feel what it feels like to be working with those people, to be talking to those people, to be connecting with those people. Do you feel excited? Do you feel happy? Do they come to you easily? Try and always connect in with them coming to you easily and in flow. Feel into attracting clients in ease and flow. Feel into attracting clients in harmony and alignment. Feel into what that would feel like for you and really 
draw those people in by visualizing and imagining and feeling what it feels like to be around them and working with them and serving them and creating your ideal life from this beautiful place of connection and alignment and attracting in the right things. And by feeling into that energy and shifting your vibration to that place of alignment with that ideal client, that's what's going to draw more of that ideal client in. That's what's going to help that ideal client find you is by energetically feeling into that feeling into that client, feeling into them, feeling into what it feels like to talk to them and work with them, you know, really connecting obviously on the physical level, but imagine daydream about what it feels like to have a business where you are with your ideal clients every day. You know, imagine the responses that your ideal client is getting when they work with you. Imagine the feelings they're having when they work with you. Imagine the results they're getting. Imagine what it is you're creating for them and really connect in and feel into all of these things. In, feel into their results. Feel into how they are going to feel when they work with you. Feel into the way you want them to get off the phone to you or the call or when they buy your products. How do you want them to feel? You know, really connect in with the feelings because that's how you're going to shift your vibration and attract more of that person in. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I hope you found it super useful and helpful. And I would love to hear your thoughts and feelings and if you've tried any of this and what results you guys got. So send me a message, connect with me via social media. I would love to hear from you guys. 